Hey there YouTube, Cadillac Doctor here again. Today I want to talk about Vacuum Advance on a distributor system on this 429 1964 Cadillac Sedan DeVille. If you've got a worn out vacuum diaphragm, it can contribute to things like poor fuel economy and bad idle quality. The replacement one looks like this. It's responsible for advancing the timing just a little bit when the car is idling or at low demand or low acceleration. This one's original to the car, it's 58 years old, so let's get started. This is a fairly simple job. You can literally do the whole job with one flathead screwdriver. Right in here is the distributor cap. Push, twist, and release both screws, and the distributor cap will literally pop right off. Once that's off and out of the way, Remove the rotor inside. Once you've got the rotor off, you'll be able to see the flathead screws that hold the diaphragm in place. Simply disconnect the vacuum line that goes to it and tuck it out of the way. Remove that screw and that screw. And there's a little hook that goes under the base plate right there. Once that's done, it'll literally just slide out of place. Now I recommend that you use a flat tip screwdriver with this little magnetic end on it. These are fairly tiny screws, they're in a confined area so they're easy to drop and get lost. And that's a great way to retrieve them. Once you've got all the hardware out, be aware that that little ground strap has to be reattached. Pull slowly towards the entrance point and then tip it down a little bit to get the arm out of the hole. Once you've got it out, you'll just need to transfer over this little rubber sleeve onto the other shaft to make sure that it rests in the right position when, once it's installed. While you're in there, it's not a bad idea to make sure that your swing, swing weight springs are still in place and that the swing weights are moving freely. If they're stuck, your advance and retard are going to work correctly. Don't forget to put the original vacuum line back on the diaphragm, or it won't work at all. You'll be back to square one. So now that we've got that changed out, if you have changed your ignition timing, your base ignition timing, because of this failing, you'll need to unplug the vacuum line, reset your base timing so that this will work properly, and you won't get any backfiring up through the carburetor. I'm going to file this one under G for garbage and go get a drink. It's hot. We'll see you down the road.